have that that um, Romney murdered my wife ad standing by. We're going to get to that here again. Greetings, my friends, and uh, welcome back. That is the subject. I Mitt Romney murdering a guy's wife. That's the latest uh, Obama ad. And tested among Democrat focus groups to work like a charm. Mitt Romney, Republican presidential nominee, wants guy's wives to die. Happy to have you here. Telephone number 800-282-2882. The email address, lrushbo at eibnet.com. Let's listen to the ad again. Just, just, uh... Just hit the airwaves today. I think relatively my today, yesterday, whatever. Yep. It's a guy, Joe Soptic is his name. I, I hope that I'm pronouncing it right. S O P T I C. It might be Soptic. I don't know. I've not heard it pronounced. But it's from uh, it, it's from Obama's super PAC, which is called Priorities USA. And it's run. Who runs this thing? Uh, Bill Burton? Yep. Bill Burton, who left the Obama White House to go run the Super PAC. Here's the ad again. When Mitt Romney and Bain closed the plant, I lost my health care. And my family lost their health care. And uh, uh, a short time after that, my wife became ill. I don't know how long she was sick. Uh, she and I think maybe she didn't say anything because she knew that we, we couldn't afford the insurance. And, and then one day she, she uh, became ill and, and I took her up to the Jackson County Hospital and, and, and admitted her for pneumonia and that's when they found the cancer. And by then it was stage four. It was, it was, there was nothing they could do for her. And she passed away in 22 days. I do not think Mitt Romney realizes what he's done to anyone. And I, furthermore, I do not think Mitt Romney is concerned. There you have it. Uh, Mitt Romney killed the guy's wife and didn't care about it. Now, stick with me on this for a second, because here at the Politico, Alexander Burns, they've, they've done a, a, a sort of a fact check on the ad. Would you like to hear this? But... Alexander Burns, the pro-Obama Super PAC Priorities USA action lobbed a heavy-duty attack at Mitt Romney this morning, airing an ad that links the closure of a GST steel plant in Kansas City to the loss of a family's health insurance and a death of a woman sometime later. The man speaking in the ad, Joe Soptic, says Mitt Romney and Bain closed the plant. I lost my health care and my family lost their health care. And a short time later, my wife became ill. Soptic explains he's not exactly sure when his wife became sick, but that when he took her to the hospital, she had undetected advanced cancer, died 22 days later. Now, the Romney campaign's pushed back on other attacks related to the GST steel plant by arguing that the plant in Kansas City closed long after Romney stepped away from the job at Bain. The Democrats counter that Romney was still listed as a top executive at Bain through 2002 and that he built up the private equity firm during the time it invested GST Steel. So even though he wasn't there, he was there. We don't care when Romney left. He was still there. Now, in the case of this particularly jarring super PAC ad, yes, this particularly jarring ad. It may also be relevant, writes the Politico, that Soptic's wife died in 2006, years after the factory closed down, not days as it's made to sound here. A 2006 story in the Kansas City Scar reported the death of Renee Soptic, a former champion roller skater. Quote, Soptic went to the hospital for pneumonia. Doctors found signs of very advanced cancer. She died two weeks later on June 22nd. So Burns here, the political says, I asked Priorities USA strategist Bill Burton to explain the connection between Romney and Bain and a cancer fatality that happened near the end of Romney's tenure as governor of Massachusetts. He was long gone. He was gone by four years when this happened. 
The lapse in time between the plant closing and Soptic's death doesn't mean the ad is invalid, says Politico. But it raises questions about the cause and effect relationship. Oh, that's all? It doesn't mean the ad's invalid. It just raises cause and effect relationship? Burton said, well, look, we're illustrating how long it took for communities, individuals to recover from the closing of these businesses that Romney shut down. Families and individuals had to find new jobs, new sources of health insurance, a uh, way to make up for the pensions they lost. Mitt Romney has had an enduring impact on the lives of thousands of men and women, and for many of them, that impact has been devastating, as in death. Romney didn't kill just this woman. Many others have died because of Romney in vain. That's what Burton is implying here. And then this guy writing at Politico says, Like most of the outside group ads in the 2012 race, the fairness of this one is open to interpretation. Really? An ad accusing Romney of murder, second degree, is open to interpretation. But both this ad and the new welfare-themed ad that hits on Obama from the Romney campaign are provoking more intense outrage, both publicly and privately, than most of the other spots we've seen. That them. Well, let's play that ad. Here is the Romney ad. It's audio somebody number three. This is the Romney ad on the fact that Obama has just taken the work requirements out of welfare reform. Obama has just killed welfare reform. If we're going to talk about death here. Obama unilaterally took the work requirements out of uh, welfare reform. And since the press hasn't reported it, Romney put an ad together. You just heard the Obama ad accusing Romney of murder four or five years after he leaves Bain Capital. Oh, and by the way, folks, let me, let me ask you a very, very quick question. How would have Obama helped this unemployed guy, Mr. Soptic, who didn't have insurance, he would have been fined. Under Obamacare, Mr. Soptic here would be fined for not having health insurance. Well, don't look at me. That's the law of the land according to Obamacare. I wonder if anybody's told Mr. Soptic. You know... Obama's president and Bain closes down your steel plant and you don't have health insurance. Guess what? You get fined. You either pay a fine, pay a penalty, or you go get health insurance on your own. Somehow, some way. That's what Obama would have done for the guy. What are we going to assume Obama would have saved his wife? Does Obama cure stage four cancer? Does Obama prevent stage four cancer? Is that what uh, Obamacare prevents stage four cancer? But if it slips past Obamacare, then Obamacare cures it. Is that what we're supposed to believe from this stupid, insulting ad? The truth of the matter is that Mr. Soptic, in these exact circumstances, loses his health care under Obamacare. The IRS is going to track him down and levy upon him a fine. Here is Romney. Now, keep in mind, we just said this, this ad, Romney kills people. Now we got the Romney ad on Obama and welfare reform, and these two ads have been placed in the, the, the same disgusting sphere by Politico. In 1996, President Clinton and a bipartisan Congress helped end welfare as we know it by requiring work for welfare. But on July 12th, President Obama quietly announced a plan to gut welfare reform by dropping work requirements. Under Obama's plan, you wouldn't have to work and wouldn't have to train for a job. They just send you your welfare check. And welfare to work goes back to being plain old welfare. Mitt Romney will restore the work requirement because it works. Politico says both the Soptic ad and the ad you just heard are provoking intense outrage, publicly and privately. More intense than we can remember this summer. What in the world's outrageous about this ad you just heard? What's offensive about it? What allegation in it is 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 um, below the belt? What, where, where's the dirt? Where's the filth in that ad? Where are the implied accusations? Anybody died because somebody didn't care. The whole point of the Soptic ad is that the poor guy's wife died because Mitt Romney didn't care. He even says it in the ad. 
I don't think Romney realizes what he's done to anybody. Furthermore, I don't think Romney's even concerned. Romney doesn't care who he kills. That's the theme of that ad. And now, Romney's ad telling the truth about Obama gutting welfare reform is somehow lumped in the same sphere and the same category. Wayne Allen Root, name ring a bell. I first heard of Wayne Root because this guy was, uh, well, what's it? he, uh, he was an expert. Well, he's an expert. He, he, um, he, he made a living advising people on picking NFL and college football games based on the point spread. He's an odds maker. I remember watching him uh, back when I lived in Kansas City in the 70s, early 80s. On Saturday morning, USA had this uh, couple, three shows of people that you know, did the uh, point spread line by line that day and that weekend for college and football games and gave their advice and picks. And that's where I first heard of Wayne Allen Root. Well, he's written a couple of pieces. Apparently went to Columbia University at the same time Obama went. And he doesn't remember Obama. And he doesn't know anybody else who remembers Obama. He can't figure out how Obama got in there. He's not even sure Obama went there. He's written about it. I'll share that with you when we come back after this brief timeout, and we'll also get to your phones rather soon, so don't go away. 